Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we are going over 7-Zip, probably the only file archiver that you will ever need. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, there have been a lot of people asking me if I'm going to do a video on 7-Zip. Well, here I am. 7-Zip is an amazing program. It's a free program and it's a safe program. 7-Zip is an alternative to programs like WinZip and WinRAR. On top of that, 7-Zip is compatible with unzipping or unpacking most compressed file formats out there. And probably most importantly, if you have ever seen the 7-Z or 7-Z file extension, that is a 7-Zip file. To get started, head over to 7-Zip.org. I will leave a link in the description below. From this page, you have two different options, a 64-bit version or a 32-bit version. I'm going to guess if you're on a Windows computer that you have a 64-bit computer. If not, the 32-bit version will absolutely work, but try the 64-bit and then if it doesn't work, try the 32-bit. So what I'm going to do is click download here and download 7-Zip and it's a massive 1.4 megabytes. This file is pretty tiny. Now, if you don't have a Windows PC, don't worry. Head over to the left-hand corner of the screen, click the download button and just scroll down to the bottom of the page. Hopefully, one of these links will be helpful depending on the operating system you're currently running. Once you've downloaded 7-Zip, open up the setup file and then click install. Installation should take less than 10 seconds. The next step is optional but recommended. I do recommend restarting your PC. If you restarted your PC, you will see a 7-Zip file icon attached to any 7-Zip files you have. Furthermore, if you click on any files, you will see a 7-Zip option in the menu. And from here, you can do things like open the archive, extract files, extract them to a certain folder. You can even zip files here to the 7-Zip format or even the standard zip format. Now to unzip a file, you have a few different options. You can just double click any sort of zipped file and then see what's inside of it and take whatever you want out. For example, if I want this file right here, I can just drag and drop it and it will automatically extract it. The second way to do things, if you just want to extract everything in the file, is just right click on the zipped file, go into the 7-zip menu option here, and then either select extract here or extract to a specific file. If you select extract here, it will just dump everything in the folder that you're currently in. Alternatively, if you were to go to extract to a specific folder, it will dump everything into a specific folder and maybe not make things as messy. And now the easy way to zip something. You can either zip an individual file, multiple files, or an entire folder. All you have to do is just highlight whatever you want zipped, right click it, the 7-zip menu option should be right at the top or at least close to it, and then just add it to where you want to. For example, I'm going to add it to roms.7z, and then it will compress everything, and that's pretty much it. Once the process finishes up, your zipped file will be ready to go. I highly recommend 7-zip. It's a very easy to set up and use program. It's highly compatible and highly functional. On top of all of that, it's absolutely free. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know what your thoughts are about 7-zip in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to do any other tutorials and I'll see if I can do them. Just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.